Hey guys, Mitch here, and today I am doing a little product review of the uh, Trust Bag. I ordered one a while ago, I think it was like two months or so, and I got it a month ago. And uh, from that point, it, it's been okay. And you know, I've used it maybe three or four times, but, and there is a big but on that but. See this bag right here, and also here is my uh, my purchase just to show you guys how I actually did order one, and I blocked out all the information that is personal, but blah blah blah. You get it. So here's my trust bag right here. Boom, great, right? But so whoop, you go down here, and whoa, what happened? What happened with this thing right here? Turns out this little the the, the piece that holds on actually like just ripped off on both sides as I was walking down some stairs so um, for what was the total price uh, $139 for a bag you'd think maybe it was put together a little bit better than that. I was literally casually just walking down like you know your steps don't blah I don't even know but um, just to show you guys kind of what I had in my bag at the time, I had my iPad Pro, which is very, very light, you know, not heavy at all. And then whatever else is in the bag. So I got some homework. I have charging cables in my keys and a plastic fork. But other than that, I mean, like car chargers, nothing else. And other than that, the bag is empty except for car charger and I believe another car charger. No, that's a wall adapter right there. But other than that, the bag is empty. So literally, I'd say less than three, maybe five pounds. I don't know. It's just like, it kind of sucks for 139 bucks. So this is just a review to anyone else who is thinking about buying one of these things that they aren't exactly the most durable things, even though they claim they are. They claim they're knife resistant and slash resistant and something, no. Um, I'm gonna try to find a way to return mine, but uh, apparently it was shipped from like the Netherlands or something, so I'm gonna probably have a very hard time doing that. So, probably I wasted a hundred bucks or so. And it's whatever, I'm trying to fix it myself. Um, don't waste your money. I will post a update in the comments section, kind of uh, letting you guys know what happens with my return, if I can return it. But uh, otherwise, uh, thank you guys for watching, just trying to keep you guys updated and notified and informed of what you're buying. So uh, thank you guys so much, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!